It was a happy homecoming for two NASA astronauts today, Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore. The two have returned back to Earth after 286 long days. What was supposed to be an eight-day space mission ended up being a nine-month stay. The world was gripped onto the arrival moment last night. Millions were watching NASA's live stream online. Prayers and good wishes were all over social media, hoping for a smooth arrival. Elon Musk-owned SpaceX Dragon spacecraft was tasked with bringing back the stranded astronauts. To everyone's relief, the landing was safe and the mission successful. Reactions have poured in from all over the world, congratulating NASA and the astronauts for this achievement. The White House says that this was a promise that US President Donald Trump made and has delivered now. So what happens next for these astronauts? Hello and welcome, I'm Shubham Chauhan. Let's get started. NASA astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore returned back to Earth after nine months today. The two were aboard a SpaceX crew Dragon capsule along with NASA astronaut Nick Haig and Russian cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov. It was a 17-hour journey back home. The capsule glided through Earth's atmosphere, enduring temperatures of as high as 1600 degrees Celsius. The capsule slowed its orbital speed of roughly 17,000 miles per hour to about 17 miles per hour at splashdown. As it splashed down, it deployed parachutes, eventually helping in the safe and the smooth landing off the coast of Florida around 3.30 a.m. Indian Standard Time on the 19th of March. Like I said, this much-anticipated arrival was being live-streamed, and several people erupted in joy as the Freedom Capsule, as it was called, landed successfully and smoothly. And splashdown, Crew 9 back on Earth. Down. Good main release. Copy splash down. We see main shoots cut. Nick, Alex, Butch, Sunny, on behalf of SpaceX, welcome home. The capsule was then hoisted out of water onto a boat. Sunita Williams was seen waving and giving a thumbs up as she came out of the capsule. Williams and Wilmore were immediately taken for medical tests on reclining stretchers. This return marked an end to Williams and Wilmore's nine month ordeal in space. Back here in India, Sunita Williams' native village, Julasan, in the state of Gujarat, was waiting for her return with bated breath. Once she was back on Earth, locals erupted in joy. In fact, students of a school in the village were seen playing a round of Garba to celebrate her safe return to Earth. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi, President Draupadi Murmu, congratulated Williams on the homecoming as well. Now, what makes this story so fascinating is just how long these astronauts were stuck in space. Nine months. And this was not even planned. Imagine being stuck in your workplace unscheduled for such a long time. Butch, Wilmore and Sunita Williams initially launched to the International Space Station in June 2024. They were aboard Boeing's Starliner spacecraft. Now, this, this was an eight-day mission which was meant to be a quick test flight just to check and validate the spacecraft's safety for carrying humans into space. As the spacecraft was on its way to the International Space Station, it developed several problems, like a helium leak in its propulsion system. Williams and Wilmore still managed to reach the ISS safely. In August 2024, NASA decided not to risk the astronauts' lives by bringing them back on the Space Starliner aircraft, the, the Boeing Starliner aircraft, spacecraft that is. So the Starliner returned without crew in the month of September. Now, since space missions are planned months and years in advance, it took some time for alternative arrangements to be made. Later, NASA reassigned the two to SpaceX's Crew-9 mission, which arrived at the ISS last September. It was scheduled to leave from ISS back to Earth in February 2025. NASA decided to reduce Crew 9's strength from four astronauts to two. This eventually made room for Wilmore and Williams to come on to the spacecraft. But it was amidst this uncertainty in the last nine months that their experience came to the fore. Williams and Wilmore are both decorated former US Navy pilots. As astronauts too, they have made multiple trips to space and are pretty experienced. Visuals of the two coming in from space showed no signs of discomfort in these last nine months. Williams and Wilmore were seen celebrating Christmas, giving Diwali greetings and assuring everyone down here that they were fine. Not just that, according to NASA, Williams and her team logged an impressive 900 hours of scientific research. And this time, more than 150 experiments were conducted and one of the highlights were spacewalks. Williams did a record-setting 62 hours and 9 minutes of spacewalks spread across 9 excursions 
outside the International Space Station. In the process, she also became the first woman to spend the maximum time in space, such a long time in space. By last week, Elon Musk's SpaceX Freedom Capsule was ready, all set to bring these astronauts back home. And that's how the two astronauts came back to planet Earth. SpaceX chief Elon Musk gave all the credit to President Donald Trump. Remember, in recent months, both Trump and Musk have repeatedly blamed former US President Joe Biden for delaying this rescue mission. Trump said he would ensure Williams' arrival as soon as possible, and he blamed Biden for sort of delaying this entire process and ensuring that the astronauts don't come back to Earth. President Trump said that after the arrival, the two astronauts would visit him at the White House once they fully recover. So, what next for Williams and Wilmore? A long recovery process. Currently, they're at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston. That's where a 45-day rehabilitation program will begin. This will help them to sort of readjust to gravity after their long stint in microgravity in space before they can eventually, of course, go back home to their families. Now, there are some permanent and temporary issues that the astronauts may face. For instance, high radiation levels exposure in space increases a risk of cancer. By some estimates, Sunita Williams would have been exposed to radiation levels equal to almost 270 chest x-rays. Even other tasks like standing up, walking, or even holding objects will take some doing. Astronauts often experience dizziness, nausea upon returning to the gravity of Earth, sort of getting used to the environment here. Many also report temporary vision issues and baby feet, something called baby feet. That is when the thick skin on the soles soften due to lack of pressure in space. Now, staying in space for such a long time can also lead to bone density loss and lowered immune levels. In short, the recovery process is slow, long, and even painful. But experts say with adequate care and medication, much of it can be cured. Williams and Wilmore's unplanned stay also gives researchers a chance to study impacts of being stranded in space for such a long duration. But that's for later. Many have praised Sunita Williams and her team, rightly so, for their grit and determination. Because it's not easy to be up in space for such a long and that too an unplanned stay in this case. Especially given the complexities which are involved in training for a longer mission compared to the shorter one which Williams and her team was training for. Then to not just get through this mission, but do it all with a smile. Williams has come back an idol for many already given the determination that she has shown, shown rather in the last nine months. But when she was asked as to what was it that she was looking forward to the most after coming back to Earth, this was a response. On Earth, when I'm running or moving, there's always a lot going on in your mind. But you're still grounded. I miss taking my dogs for early morning walks, hearing the birds and experiencing the start of the day. I know it's tough for them too, being apart, but they understand and everyone's rooting for us to return with SpaceX Crew 9. And she has indeed come back home. That's all we have for this report. Thanks for watching. Stay ahead with our Cutting Edge News app. Instantly access the latest shots in just one minute and breaking news in just 50 words. Download now for a smarter, faster news experience.